Elijah Vu's mother and his caregiver appearing in court, now formally charged with child neglect. This as the search for the three-year-old approaches the one-week mark. We still have not had any answers of where this little boy is at. Tonight, we dig into the criminal complaints to learn more about the disciplinary methods used on the little boy prior to his disappearance. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight at 9. As the search continues for this little boy, 3-year-old Elijah Vu, his mother and an adult caregiver returned to court today. Both are now formally charged with child neglect. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens is taking a closer look at the accusations. While the public waits for answers as to three-year-old Elijah Vu's whereabouts, we're learning more about his mother and the adult caregiver who reported him missing. According to a criminal complaint, Jesse Vang was caring for Elijah at the time of his disappearance. Katrina Bauer is Elijah's mother. The two are in court on Monday in Manitowoc, where members of the public came in support of Elijah. For him just to vanish into thin air, it just doesn't make any sense to us, so this is why we're here. We want answers. According to the criminal complaint, Bauer sent her son Elijah to stay with Vang on February 12th. In an interview with police, Vang stated the victim was disciplined using timeouts. The timeouts were described as standing for periods of time from one to three hours. Vang told police the timeout was intended as a form of boot camp. According to the criminal complaint, Vang reported the victim is not potty trained and is still wearing diapers. Vang told police he changed the victim's diaper at least once per day. Vang said he did not want to be mean to the victim, but was trying to teach him to be more respectful. The complaint also states Bauer lives in Wisconsin Dells. In addition to child neglect, Bauer is facing two counts of obstructing an officer. The complaint says Bauer told police she wasn't in the Manitowoc County area on or around February 16th or 17th. Cell phone data contradicts that statement. Bauer later admitted to being in Two Rivers on the night of the 16th. Tuesday marks one week since Elijah Vu was reported missing. In the criminal complaint, on the morning of February 20th, Vang woke Elijah up at 8 a.m. and brought him into his bedroom. Vang states he shut the door and fell asleep. When he woke up at 11 a.m., Vang called 911 to report Elijah was gone. In the week that has passed, community members are holding out hope for finding anything that could help bring Elijah home. For everything in the whole wide world, I just want this little boy home with his family, where he belongs. Bauer and Vang will return to court on March 7th for preliminary hearings. In Manitowoc, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. To read the full criminal complaints for both Katrina Bauer and Jesse Vang, you can check out this story on our website, fox11online.com. In state of Wisconsin versus Katrina Bauer, 24 CF 163. Uh, appearances starting in the courtroom. State appears by Jacqueline Lavery. Katrina Bauer appears from the Manitowoc County Jail by Zoom and with her attorney, Ann Larson, appearing separately by Zoom. Matters on the calendar for an initial appearance today. Attorney Larson, do you have a copy of the complaint? We have received a copy of the complaint. We waive reading and we're requesting a preliminary examination. One second. Um, March 7th at 1030? Bail's been set. Uh, Attorney LaBree, do you know if there's anyone uh, that wishes to make a statement in accordance with Marcy's law? Yes, Judge, and I believe it is the phone number of Mark Orison. Okay, um, can the person who's on Orison's iPhone unmute? Yeah, I right care. Are you a victim in the case with Ms. Bauer? Uh, I'm, I'm the, the family of the victim, yes. Okay, and you wanted to make a statement today? Yes. All right, I need you to state your name and spell your last name for the record. Yeah. Orson Vu, O-R-S-O-N-V-U-E. All right, sir, keeping in mind that this is uh, uh, just the initial appearance and all we're doing today is setting the prelim, you do have the right under Marcy's law uh, to address the court at any proceeding. This would be one, so go ahead and tell me what you care to. Okay, yes, Your Honor. Um, our family would like to ask that the court does not allow or change any bail and bond amount um, and have have these two individuals um, held fully accountable for their actions or lack thereof. After reading just a few things from the criminal complaint, these two individuals should not be allowed to walk free 
sitting amongst that can probably find where a lot of it is. That's all. All right. Um, just so you're aware, uh, Mr. Vu, uh, the court's not taking up any issues in regards to bail today. Um, if uh, a motion for bail is made uh, prior to any hearing or bail hearing is set, uh, you'll certainly get notice uh, through the DA's office. So just make sure you stay in touch with the victim witness coordinator, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Anything else for the record, Attorney Lurie? No, Judge, thank you. Attorney Larson, anything else for the record? No. Then we're adjourned. In State of Wisconsin versus Jesse Bang, 24 CF 162, uh, appearances, appearances in the courtroom? State appears by Jacqueline LaBrie. Mr. Bang appears in custody with Attorney Heather Faye. This is a special appearance. Counsel has not yet been appointed. Uh, matters on the calendar for an initial appearance today. Uh, Attorney Faye, do you have a copy of the complaint? We do, Judge. We waive its reading at this time and request a preliminary hearing. March 7th at 10.30. Bail's been set. Anything else for the record from the state? Judge, I don't know. Oh, yeah, we should probably check with Mr. Wu again. Sorry. Thank you. Um, Mr. Vu, um, you have the opportunity to address the court again, uh, in this case, if you care to. Um, uh, if you wish to make a statement in, on Mr. On the record for Mr. Vu's case as well, you're welcome to. Um, I just need to have you let me know whether or not you want to make a statement. Um, was, the sta was the statement I made earlier not for this? Sorry, well, I'm a little confused right now. That's okay. It's, uh, we, we call the cases separately, so each, each case has its own record made. So if you want to make a statement for the record on this file, you can. I certainly heard what you had to say earlier. And my response would basically be the same. We're not taking up bail today, and if uh, bail were to be addressed at some point down the road, uh, you'd be notified of that. So, do you wish to say anything else for the record today, sir? Yeah, um, no, that's all. Okay. Uh, anything else then, Attorney Libri? No, Judge, thank you. Attorney Faye? No, Judge, thank you. Then we're adjourned.